What's up, Wayne Baron here with DarkFix.net, and we are inside of Adobe Edge Animate. And uh, what we're going to do on here can be done in any version of Edge Animate, even though I am using the new 2014 version. And so, what we're going to be doing is a rollover effect. As you can see, whenever we mouse over, uh, we got a blue line that hovers up underneath our, our name button, and we remove the mouse, and then the line uh, slowly goes back to its original state. So that's what we're going to be doing. So let's create a new composition. Let's go ahead and add in our menu. We're going to name this main menu. And we're going to give it a color of somewhere around that. Now we're going to add in a button. And we're going to make it white. Add in some text. It's going to be home. We'll change this to 22 and then bring it up to about up in there. Actually, let's change this to about 21. That looks better. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is we want to draw in a small line down here at the bottom. We're going to set this at about 3 and we got it set at 80. We're going to change this to white come about right up in here double click and we're going to change this to zero come out to here and then change it back to 80 and then we're going to change our color to a blue okay so that way whenever it fades on it's got a, a really cool color animation as well. Okay, so now we want to come over here. We want to add a new button right there on the top. Drop its visibility down to zero. And now let's come over here. This is our main menu. So our rectangle three is going to be our slider. Whoops. Our rectangle two is going to be our button our rectangle 4 is going to be our master button and then our text so now with our button we're going to take our text and our slider we're going to drop it into our button and then we're going to drag our button and drop it up underneath our main menu grab a hold of our master button and drop it right here on top now our master button is going to be used for all of our actions because whenever we just use a button with all of its elements inside of our button then whenever we do our mouse over it's going to reflect all of the elements so when we mouse over the button as soon as our mouse goes over the text it's going to recreate the animation so it's going to double on our animation let's go ahead and double click and stop that Okay, so that's where we're going to use our master button to place all of our actions there. Okay, so now what we're going to do is that we're going to select all these elements together. Our master button, button, text, and slider. Right click on these and choose convert to symbol. We're going to name this first button. Okay, so now let's going to drop it there. So what we're going to do here is open this one up. So right click, choose edit symbol. Okay, we're going to start off right here at the beginning. We do a playback, stop, and we're going to stop our button. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and copy this. Drag it all the way over here and paste it. Over here, and we're going to do button 1. Over here to the 1 second mark, create a new one, and do button 1 out. Okay, and now we are going to come to the end about right up in here and paste in our last stop. So right here we're going to create our keyframes. Come all the way out to here, drop this down to zero, and drop this to white. So now, it's going to be like so. And, uh... That very sad noise you just heard is my puppy. So, with that done, uh, let's... Okay, yeah, the opacity of our 
of our main button, that's the leak depth, our main button's opacity is going to be set to <laughs> zero. Okay, now that we've got everything set and now I'm taking my puppy to her restroom break, let's get back to what we were doing here. Okay, so now what we want to do is that we want to come over here to our master button and we want to set our action for our button one and our button one out. So let's come over here and we want to do a mouse over, playback, play from, first stage, or first button. I'm going to do button one that's copies oops let's copy this let's come over here and do a mouse out and then we're going to do button one out so now whenever we run our project we got this you see that we can stay inside of our button but we also might want to drop that down to where it actually hides the top as well so let's go ahead and we want it to where it's going to hide the button all together including our animation so then when we come back over here reload we can run our mouse down and it does not do anything so that is our cool effect okay Wayne Baron here with darkfakes.net inside of Adobe Edge Animate Y'all have a rockin' weekend now. Bye-bye.